almost four years ago, I woke up with half of my face paralyzed and my life has changed so much since then. Um, in case you guys want to know the more background of what happened, I've posted multiple videos on that. But I do see your guys' comments and how you guys are always commenting. Literally, can you please give me an update? Can you please give an update of how you're doing? It's been a couple of years since I've done an update, so I wanted to do an update of how I'm doing with Bell's Palsy um, year four. So let's get into it. So really quick, a little quick synopsis of what happened four years ago, January 2020, I woke up, half of my face was paralyzed. I've had Bell's palsy in the past. So when this happened, I wasn't surprised, but it was a much more difficult recovery the second time around. And it really played not only with the physical aspect, but my mental health was literally down the drain um, because my face did not move for months. And then once it started moving, it didn't completely recover. So I wanted to give you an update on how I'm doing now four years later. Um, if I'm being really honest, I'm doing really, really well. I am honestly just so used to having Bell's palsy. I, of course, did not completely recover and I'm okay with that. The only time it bothers me is when people see that I haven't recovered and I tell them, oh, it's been four years, like it kind of is what it is. And people keep pushing and being like, no, you can recover, like you can recover, let's have faith. And I'm like, hey, I'm all for that, but like, that kind of makes me feel like you're not okay with how I am and I'm okay with how I am. So let's just let it go. <laughs> um, that happened to me the other day at the doctor's. This nurse was like, no, I have faith that you're going to recover. Like next time I see you, it's going to be gone. And I'm like, ma'am, it's been four years. Like, honestly, I'm okay with it. So um, yeah, but other than that, I feel like my mental health surrounding Bell's palsy is like literally really good. I think it just took a long time for me to come to accept it. And um, once I did accept it and accepted kind of like what my life is, um, I think my mindset just really completely changed. And um, I do sometimes have the fear that it could come back. So I really try to stay away from anything that stresses me out. But um, so far I haven't had any relapses. It's been four years since. And I just continue to hope that it doesn't happen again. Um, but if it does, I know that everything's going to be okay. So yeah, um, I do still sometimes do exercises on my face. I don't do them as often as I should. I should be doing it every day because sometimes my face does tighten up or my neck will tighten up when I'm not doing the exercises often. So I know I have to do that. But other than that, guys, I'm honestly doing really good for anybody else who's going through Bell's palsy. It is a very difficult journey and literally I feel for you so much. But if you do happen to be like me who doesn't recover, I just want to let you know that it does get better. But I totally get you that whole I really fell into a really big depression because I I hated seeing my face and hating seeing your own face is one of the most difficult things that you can go through. But once you come to just accept it as to what it is, um, life really does get better. So. Um, I just want to give you hope, most likely for the people who do get Bell's palsy, most people do recover. But if you don't recover and you're like me, life does get better. So yeah, that's just my little update. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'd love to answer that for you.